What's up guys, this is M13K Gaming and we are going to be continuing the Elisa the Innkeeper of the Prequel. I'm sorry I haven't got to the Let's Play Part 2, but I hope everything goes right in this video. We're going to continue where we left off last time. Alright, so it was right here. Um, the merchant looked out from the coat a bag full of gold coins, which was very unexpected as the prince asked to anticipate the payment of the desperate measures. Now all you have left to do is to sign these papers. He picked up the pen, formed the table, and gave it to the prince once more. The prince, on the part, on his part, surprised by the or, uh, unforeseen lump of gold in front of him, did not have any words to further the discussion. Sorry, guys, if I misspelled anything or missay anything, I am very tired. A greedy thought crossed the prince's mind, and he tries to spot how far away the bathroom was from the room. With such a large sum of money, I would not only be able to pay off my debt, but I could easily life, easily life off it will, without giving up my castle. Is there something wrong? Is the money not enough? No, I do not feel too well. I fear that I fear I have excused myself for a moment. Quick as lightning, he jumped from the stool, throwing all the papers to the ground and grabbing his bag of gold. It's my chance. He hid the bag in the coat with a fluid gesture and saw the merchant on the ground gathering his possession papers or precious papers, and so he chose to back off. As soon as I reach the bathroom, I'll be able to escape through the window, unseen. What a fool that merchant's giving up such an amount of money without thinking. Keeping a hand firmly in the bag inside the coat, he ran downstairs and darted into the bathroom. His face gleamed with joy. He isn't going to. He isn't going after me. I did it. Less than ten mi interest to the bathroom. I can already smell his money. The prince, so focused on the thoughts that he didn't spot a girl walking the opposite direction. Inevitably, he hit her and fell into the to the ground. Ouch, what's happening? The girl's long dark hair were obscuring this vision. Oh god. Oh, how soft. What nice feeling. The unknown girl covered her face with her hands, blushing as a red tomato. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Forgive me, I beg you. The prince finally managed to take look around him. He found out that he was under that girl. Somehow, she managed to fall on him in such a way that her breasts were now on his face. What the? I'm not sure what's happening, but I do like it. In short order, the girl wiggled her, wiggled left and right to free herself, get up and run away, still covering her face in shame. I'm sorry. No, it's my fault. I wasn't looking where I was going. The prince stood up slowly, still dumbfounded. Oh, I can't waste time. Oh, wow, that escalated quickly. Quickly, he stepped into the first room on the left and closed the door behind him. It went well. Still painting. 
panting. He leaned on the door. Right. He leaned on the door to catch his breath. Only in the moment he found the time to put a hand to his, his the pocket where he put the bag of gold. Oh God! I can't read the night. I can't see. What? Where is it? He took off the coat and turned it over, searching for his coins. I don't have any money anymore. How is this possible? Was it really? His mind went through all his past from the main hall into the room. It must have been the girl. I have to find her. I couldn't ever see her face. What do how what do I know? Or what do I do now? Abruptly he went back or abruptly he we back to the hallway. He couldn't even finish his thought as they found the merchant in front of him, stopping him. I finally found you. For a moment I thought you ran away. The merchant said, laughing. My money! You have it? Not at all. A dirty thief stole the bag of gold. I picked up it to protect it. Yeah, right. The noble gave a last look around, fa failing to spot the dark hired girl. All of this is your fault. You and your neg negligence in doing business. The merchant started at him speechless. You want to blame me? The prince was enraged. He punched a table and exclaimed, I demand to be com compensated my for my loss. I can't read. I hope you are kidding. What do I do now? Or what do I have to do with you getting robbed? It's convenient for you to say it's all the results of chance. For such an important deal as you should have prepared with the, an armed escort. Do you not consider your clients important enough? The merchant took a deep breath before replying. He found it really difficult to contain his rage. It would have been easier to call the gods and denounce what happened. However, he chose to be once again accommodating. My clients are of, um, of utmost importance to me. If you weren't so, I wouldn't be the rich merchant I am now. He's boasting even now. If you are so rich, then compensate me as is my right. For my part, I already gave you a whole half of the total sum of your property. If you want to have the other half, you should sign the papers b before I change my mind. Annoyed, the nobleman grabbed the pen and scribed a quick and precise signatures on the paper. There you go. I cannot really say that it was a pleasure to do business with you, but at least the deal is done. He extended his hand to the nobleman after putting away a pen and papers in his bag. What do I what to I want to believe that you do not intend to scare me with your other half of the money as well. He angrily refused the handshake. There will be no changes for the remaining money I owe you. Now, if you will excuse me, I have another urgent appointment. Goodbye, my lord. The merchant left at the inn. Damn. Damn. You gotta see this. Damn him. With the charade, me, he managed to only pay me half. That 
this was certainly in cahoots with him. Now I understand he, why he accepted to give me so much money in advance. Hopeless, he sat on the bar and threw a couple silver on the pavement for the room. He really ripped me off. What a turn of bad luck. He went out of the inn as well. I have no more reasons to stay here. Interesting. The air was thickened and clouds were gathering all over the city. People were running inside to avoid the immediate rain. However, the prince walked looking down. A frown on his face, deep in thought. Why? Why can't I remember the face of that girl? She was only a few inches from me. He kept mumbling as he walked away from the end at the quick pace. Damn! If I think of all the money I threw away, I'm going to have to. Sh I'm going to have a stroke. Ugh. I can't remember anything. Every time I think about it, the only two things of that woman come in my mind. With a deep sigh, he cleared his mind completely, trying to calm himself. The first raindrop started falling as the air kept the getting wetter. I'm certain she was a great uh, she she was in agreement with that merchant somehow. It just is impossible that it ha was all the result of change. Just thinking about it was makes me want to bash my head against the wall. Bah! Let's forget about it. What is done cannot be undone. I'll only feel worse if I just keep thinking about it. Now I only have to focus on how to woo the beautiful Lisa. Oh no, I have no money. How could I forget? There's only a teeny sum left in my pocket. How will I be able to conquer her if I will barely be able to pay for the room? The rain got heavier and it was starting to it was starting to bother the young man, so he sped up despite his grave thoughts tormenting him tormenting him. Uh, sorry. He turned a corner and finally came to the building and it was looking for the end of the road, Elisa's Inn. There it is! Oh god, I'm not liking when he's running as fast as he could, he reached the entrance. His clothes were soaked at this point, but this did not prevent him from entering with the proud posture. After closing the door behind him, he could finally take off his coat. Then he noticed the waiter who was right in front of him. You are welcome, my lord. How may I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Leave me be. I'll be in my room. I'm sorry, my lord, but you cannot enter that room. Do not pester me. Is that clear? The prince snarled as he pointed at him. The waiter recognized the hostile circumstances stood put and did not speak as he went back to the, his business. Oh my god! Not today! He walked upstairs without turning back. Once he was at the top of the stairs, he moved through the corridor to enter the first room to the left where he normally stayed. He finally found some peace of mind as he slowly closed the door behind him. What a day. Everything went wrong. At least I hope that the water is warm. He sat in the bed, taking off his shoes. At that point, he saw a small book on the floor. It seemed to be a diary. What's it doing here? Instinctively, he bent to pick it up. The book, looking around as if he was about to steal some jewelry. 
He couldn't help noticing that the letter E was engraved on the cover. Suddenly interested, he opened the diary and took a long look at the first page. Alright guys, this is where I'm ending the video. If you guys want to know what happens on the next page, or on the first page, then you guys tune into my next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like and comment below, and tell me guys how you like it and the improvements I can do.